What's better, a gratitude letter or a gratitude journal? Well, science has actually indicated what the answer is to this. They, they did a study with nearly a thousand Australian people and they tested over a period of time what would give someone more feelings of gratitude but also other positive emotions and feeling of connectedness. And they discovered that in fact the people that wrote gratitude letters or gratitude essays, longer writing exercises, rather than three things that you're grateful for inside a journal, uh, turned out to have way more feelings of gratitude than anything else. There was, um, there was however a caveat to this, to this particular gratitude letter writing exercise, which was um, people experience more feelings of indebtedness. Now, how can you really write cool gratitude letters using both positive psychology as well as NLP? From an NLP perspective, it would be a really good idea to let the person that you're writing the gratitude letter for to sort of like step into your map, what you are seeing, what you are healing, hearing, what you are feeling and be specific about what specifically is it that you're grateful for. Come with a specific moment and a specific story and pull that person into your map as to what are you seeing, hearing and feeling. So that's how you can NLP that up. From a positive psychology point of view, what is really cool when you write this gratitude letter is to make an appointment with this person to in person read this letter to them. So that is another little piece. Um, if you're interested in tons of really cool exercises, techniques, NLP techniques, positive psychology techniques and other resources, or take an NLP training, let's say like, like here on Bali or Mexico or in LA or in Amsterdam, or wanna do a training online, access to all kinds of cool fun stuff, then actually visit our global NLP hub and our global NLP website at www.globalnlptraining.com. See you around.